Shalom everyone, I hope that you're doing fantastic. Today is the 13th of December. Happy birthday, happy anniversary, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm just jumping in here to do a daily. I already did one on my other channel. I will put that down below. It was uh, quite the reading uh, for a group of people that are mixed up in some lies and deception. So if you want to check that out, then uh, go ahead and check it out. It'll be down below in the, in the uh, description box. Um, if you are returning, welcome back. Those of you who are brand new, listen, I'm just real spiritual. I'm not churchy or religious at all, but I'm going to come across real heavily that way. But I'm not. I do use living language and scripture in my reading, but I'm not uh, anything but spiritual. And I am lifting up Jehovah Elohim. He gets uh, all the praise, glory, and honor on my internet gates. He's running the gates. He gets to come in and be glorified in these gates on my phone. Nobody else rules it. Uh, some people think they are, but they're not. Jehovah's got everything under control. And so anyway, he is my Yeshua, my salvation. And uh, anyway, I love him and I love to speak about him all the day long and if you don't like that this is where you're going to get off <laughs> i guess uh, otherwise welcome and um you're welcomed here let's go ahead and get in here and see what's uh, going to come out for this reading <laughs> oops <laughs> i thank you jehovah for clear to find messages jehovah bind block and rebuke all foul demonic wicked dark energies and command them to go straight to the pit of the lower parts of the earth where they need to stay for eternity. I ask for your truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to come forth, whatever it is that you need to address. I'm going to take a rune for the overall energy. Uh, I'm seeing military. So you may be in the military, or you're dealing with possibly uh, joining the military, or there's military involved in something. Uh, but I'm seeing military here. So we have uh, the Jira coming out here. This is a result of something. This is the letter J in the runes. Is the um, rune that represents yielding something. There's a benefit here. There's a marriage that's been arranged for a mutual interest as well with this rune. And this is healing and recovery. This is some type of a completion of some type of cycle here. Uh, so this is what's coming out. You could be dealing with uh, somebody with the, or your name starts with the J, first, middle, or last name, or person, place, or a thing. I guess first, middle, last name is a person, right? <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and um, see what you hope wants to bring out about this giraffe. Now, it means a yield, and we know that we're in the harvest, and things are, you know, connected with that. So... But there's recovery here as well within something. So that's positive. If you're recovering from a situation, I send you love and light. You know, military can also go to spiritual military as well. I'm going to do a spread here. Um, there's the star coming out here for this reading. And then the Queen of Swords is underneath that. Okay, well, it's Queen of Swords is very precise. She's um, very sweet and kind, but very precise in the upright. And she's a slice, slice, slice in the negative, And she's bitter and she's a witch. Okay. So we're going to see what helps us now, what hinders us now. Um, how you can br get a breakthrough at, at, from what's hindering. And where the energy is going to take you with this result, this yield, this benefit, this marriage that's been arranged for some type of mutual interest and in recovery of something and the completion of your cycle. You know, but what do you want to bring out here, please, for what helps now? Okay, I'm going to cut these. You hope you cut it. And I'm going to put them in there position and we'll read from there so this is what helps now this is what hinders now this is how you can break free from the hindrance and then where it's going to take you okay at the bottom of the deck we have the emperor well, that's beautiful because the emperor has a counterpart that belongs to him and that is the empress okay so that's positive 
uh, what's coming out here. I love Jehovah because he speaks so expressively. He really, really does. So what helps now is uh, the Three of Wands. To stand there and manifest your ideas, to trade something here, uh, to be open, to um, be in a place where you are focusing with your vision here this is this is uh fire energy and that's spiritual stuff this is a successful card what helps you now if there's third party outside situations or if you've got family members mixed up in something and obviously i'm talking to people who are upright okay i'm not addressing anybody who's in some type of a relationship trying to get out to go into another one i'm not addressing you i don't address those kind of people okay although that energy shows up I, i'm not looking at that okay so if that's you you're out as far as i'm concerned in this message okay all right uh because you know you would be an, if you think you're an emperor you'd be a tyrant and that's not going to be that's on cut it with the great elohim of the universe so just letting you know but anyway so the the, the if, Whatever the third party might be, it might be your job. You and your interest and your job might just be in the way of something. But there's what's going to help is some type of trading ideas or manifesting them or focusing on um, what Jehovah wants you to do within the situation. That's what's helping you now. Is if you're if you're already doing this, it's already helping you now. I'm seeing ships here. Um, maybe you are you know uh, from a foreign place or thinking about going to a foreign place or maybe you're you're a foreigner or or so, I'm hearing music um maybe you like foreigner <laughs> in the band I don't know but anyway uh that this is what helps now so what is hindering now is uh, the empress energy is here so the, so the match is here and so if you're not able to get to your empress then there, there's law then I'd have to read it that way What's hindering is something with the law to get to your counterpart. Because this is a marriage arranged for a mutual interest here. All right. It's so that this is what's hindering something. Is projects. She represents projects. Children are here with the empress for some of you all. Uh, for your counterpart. Um, like I said, we got law here. Being unbalanced or somebody in the connection. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like there's third outside parties involved in something here. But something that's going to help you is to get rid of the third outside situation or balance out scales or something like that. What's hindering now is not being able to have your baby doll. <laughs> and that's hindering you because you have once you come together and to... Because th th this energy here... Uh, represents people who have a uh, call upon their life to make a difference in the earth. Okay? To bring forth righteousness. So she has a law within her. This is rich and generous energy. What's hindering is probably some type of a financial situation here with the uh, Empress. Because she does represent being rich and generous and moving forward. She'd be the gimmel. Okay? Uh, that's some type of movement is hindering something with your baby doll here. I love it that they came out here together and the Jira is here for that purpose. That's absolutely beautiful. So how can you break free from this kind of stuff? Is get out of your freaking mind. <laughs> some people are only in their mind. Now if you have a th out third outside party that's hindering you where the law is involved and some, something's uh, stopping within this third party for some of you all, um, what can help you is that person is good prison or jail or something if it's got that bad, given what we follow on my channel. Um, some people just need to get out of their own head. You're just only in your own head because your person is going to feel the same way about you. You need to open the door. This is the Dalit. This is the key. This is the door. Regardless if there is... So, so I want to say that the Empress and the Emperor, one direction, one direction, it means to slice something. Okay? Something needs to be cut away or something like that. And uh, in the mind space, probably, because that'd be a cutting implement. I want to... Let me just look this up. I want to say it goes back to war type energies, which I was seeing military at the beginning of this reading. Yeah, so the DG, which is also a dog, which a dog can go to meaning all kinds of different things. If you got a Jezebel spirit, the dogs can go back to that control freak crap that's uh, involved in some of y'all stuff. And that spirit is here. We've been dealing with it. But the dog can also represent um, 
organization, which both the emperor and the empress can represent organization, bosses, you know, empire type stuff, okay? Um, a dog the other direction is God, okay? And um, Elohim, okay? Angels and demons are warring right now within the military stuff that's going on, which the emperor himself represents war to get up and fight and to win something. But the actual word here in the Hebraic language is dart, and it represents a fish, okay? There's anxiety here with this word, one direction. Well, we see it right here. This is what's hindering. This is how, how you can get out of it is to get out of your mind and get up and fight in the truth. And to have a transformation here. Somebody's secretly in their mind about some stuff. Because the eight would go back to secrets. Okay. Um, there's grain and crop and plentiful stuff that's here as well. But that's also in what's hindering. Because that goes back to um, her representing rich and generous stuff. And we know what's going on in the world right now. And so the third party is... Uh, the pandemic that's going on for some people that's holding people back and they're in their mind about it um, and all of that. So there's some type of a dart type of energy here, which is a fish, right? Maybe you just like, maybe you also like to play darts. I take anything expressively, as you all know. Um, if somebody's got an anxious behavior, though, that's how they, they, they it's just part of their behavior. You got to get out of that crap. Uh, like just wanting to dart through something somebody's needing to be careful within how you feel because this is manifesting ideas okay this is what's going to help you is to manifest your ideas if you are if you're showing up like this okay and uh, how you're going to break free is to needs you need to dart out of the fear and the anxiety because your fear is going to come up on you and we're told that in scripture, your greatest fear, you will manifest that. It's right here, people. It's right here. It's, I guess, your choice. This has a call on it. This is supposed to be these two energies here. It's arranged from the heavens. Understand? You could be a fisherman. You like to fish. Something like that is here. There's, there's fishing equipment here. Uh, so whatever all that means, it's just for point of reference and take it. Let's go back real quick with the GD, God or Gad. Okay, well, Gad, you hope you never see this amazing. Gad in the living Hebraic language represents a troop, which which is military. That's huge. I love the the Most High. There's a slicing here. Something's um, very fortunate though here that we've got a fortune showing up with the, with the wording here. Well, we have the rune representing um, yield. There's, there's a big yield of something um, to be recovered here. There's a completion of a cycle, though. And so somebody just needs to get out of the freaking head. That's how you're going to win it because you're able to manifest something because there's a call on this energy. That's so huge, people. There's a band here. Okay, well... A gathering of men for attacking or raiding, yes, because it's war type energy, but Jehovah don't lose and this represents the father figure of the universe, and you know, in general we we call the most high God, well God's got this, people he's got this, this is supposed to happen okay, this is supposed to happen, there's a river bank here, and there's a rushing bank that undercuts a furrow inside the bank itself, and you can, you can use that energetically, spiritually, physically, whatever that is for you. But there's some type of invade. And, and, you know, here's the deal. You and I need to get up and invade the enemy spiritually, people. We really do. So we've got, we've got all kinds of stuff here. And, you know, we've got a band not only of just men, but we've got music that's here as well so where is it going to take you uh to exchanging something to to making the decision to do what you need to do the two of pentacles is here and uh, getting in harmony this is a getting in harmony this is supposed to happen it's going to happen it, it's it's a match and both people are showing up in the reading and the jira is over the top of this and so the decision to manifest ideas and to get up and to get out of your head those of you who are going to do it look if you don't do it you're going to miss the best thing that ever happened uh for you in the spirit that was given to 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 to, to recover something that's yours this is a mutual interest and and 
we got people in their mind or being made to be put in their mind or been there for a long time or trying to figure out something and, and somebody needs to go to jail within the mix. There's a third party outside of this energy. It's huge, people. So we have the J, the D, and the G here for any kind of connection that's affecting um, something that's going on here. And some, something with the door is here as well. And uh, somebody has been feeling weak and poor. And that's what the Dalit represents. Yehovah, show me energies here. Show me energies here for this reading. What you want to say about it. Uh, rain. Well, we got music here for some of us. We already know about that. And we do know about the flood as well going on. This also goes back to, you know, the skies. Uh, obviously, rain comes from the skies. It's something to do with um, showering the body or something like that with the rain. So you can take the rain any way that you want. It's been raining. There's fear here, people. And somebody's just real terrified about something. You got to have to get out of your head. This is how you're going. This is how you're going to break free out of this hindrance. If the if the third party is just nothing but just something energetic going on, you're going to, have to get out of your head. And somebody's just like real anxious here, and they just you know, if you just gonna sit there all the days of your life going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like I said, you're going to lose out on the best thing that ever happened to you. There are projects here. We already know about the music. And that one here is a take to the party that I'm talking to that's crazy. That did some stupid. So Jehovah says to stop the stupid game now. <laughs> yes, he does. Because it's already over. Okay? And uh, we have the onion. Well, like I said, I had written that down on, on a card and it had no idea that there's a movie now about the flood and the rain comes from the flood and the devil is also there with stupid flood and it's time for him to go away and it's time to get up and, and make him dart. So a muzzle is here. Well, that came out this morning. It has people not talking. Okay, well, you are going to talk because you're going to be forced to talk, whether you like it or not. Uh, the third party is stopping something, or somebody's been made to, to not say a thing. Uh, it's just too freaking bad. I want to take um, a card on this Eight of Swords. You're going to have to open the door of your mouth, and you're going to have to yell out and ask for the divine. Stop sitting there in your freaking fear. The emperor is not afraid. He gets up. He knows who he is. He's going to get up and do what he's got to do and get it done. And he's, he's got a victory here. This says to recover something. Okay? Show me the Eight of Swords, please. You put your enemy in fear, people. We're told that we can uh, leap over a wall and over a troop and all that kind of stuff. That, that I don't care who the crap told you what. You take your dart and you stick it right into their freaking heart. If they want a war, then fine. Then you end their, their stupidity by not wanting to open their mouth. Or they, they blackmailed you not to open your mouth. You go to the person who told you that you couldn't and get rid of them. And then, boom, talk. It's over. In the war. In your mind, in your stupid game, and all that stupid stuff has gone on for too long. And so the Five of Cups is here on this. Well, obviously there's been third parties and stuff like that. We do have Law here. The Prince of um, Cups is here as well. The Knight in Shining Armor is here. Whatever the third party was, um, it is what it is, people. I'm, I'm not sure what your deal is or what's happened along the way, but... Um, Jehovah's going to peel the onion back. Okay? He's going to he's gonna make somebody talk. You know, if you take the word peel, uh, somebody needs a peel. Somebody needs a mental evaluation. But if you also take that, um, uh, peel can also go the other way. Is your lip. Peel your lip. Stop sitting there, binding your mouth and restraining something. So we've also got somebody that's a, a binding the uh, an animal. We have a dog energy here as well. Something to do with the dog is here. Well, the dogs are going to eat Jezebel that's trying to control somebody from not being able to talk. Okay? I don't care who you think you are. You don't get to sit there like that and, and uh, control somebody. I don't care who you are. This is hot. This is the higher realms showing up here, people. This is supposed to happen. Show me the two of uh, pentacles. Give me a card, please. You hold on the two of pentacles. 
third parties being cut out. They're the ones causing the ruckus. They're getting the wars on them. You come together with the person that's supposed to be with you. They're out. All of a sudden, they just, they're gone. Jehovah stands up now. The emperor stands. And the five of wands. Yeah, so let the battle be on. Because they're already lost. They are. There's a victory here. There is a victory. And this is where it's leading to a victory, people. With the zine coming out here, the letter Z is here. And this is the shear and the fleece is here. <laughs> We've been getting that cutting implement. We got mowing out here. And, uh, you know, we, we had gotten before a mowing company was involved in some stuff. We already know about it. Uh, we have a hewn stone here. We have a nut here. Well, we have somebody who is nuts to, to stop somebody to, and tell, to tell you that you can't speak. They only did that because they did something. They, they did, and they put other people in their crap, and you will not be held accountable for what somebody else forced you to do. You will, you, look, the, the, the grace of the divine will come in and help you. He surely will. Open your freaking mouth, okay? Um, cut the stupid crap away that ain't going to serve you. I love it because um, the ZG goes back to the grape skin. And we have the, the, the peel of an onion skin here as well. So he's really going to bring it out any way he wants to. But this is harvesting by the feet as well. And Jehovah said the other day he's going to stand up and he's going to trample on his enemies, people. He is going to. The word also out here is boil and pride. Well, the pride's coming down. We already know that, that the pride's coming down. Whether somebody likes it or not, the pride's coming down. Okay? this came, That word came out last night in this deck. Uh, the boil, boil in water and and uh, stuff like that. We have the word uh, depart. Yes, and Jehovah's going to say depart from me because I never knew you. Uh, you become soup uh, for, the, um, for the ocean where the dragon's at. They cannot stop the plan of the Most High. Get up today and let us cut the stupid nastiness away. Okay, they don't want to get on board with the Most High. They were never none of his anyway. Get up and go to your baby doll because it's supposed to happen. Get out of your head.